All right. A few of you have expressed interest in the electronics that go into my custom sonic screwdrivers. I don't want to go over every little bit of it, but I'll show you the gist of what goes on here. This is my Arduino Uno that I use to program the chips. There's the AT Tiny 85 right there in the center of the breadboard. It's about the size of my pinky fingernail. And the uh, little earbud speakers that I got from headphones are about the same size, so I soldered them together. They make a neat little bundle that fit easily into any of the bodies of my custom sonic screwdrivers. Let me show you the Arduino program. I don't know how well you can see this. I forget the name of the guy who uh, wrote this original code. I found him on Instructables. Joe M actually linked me to this particular one. It's a great one because you can take any kind of audio file, convert it to code, and just copy and paste your code right here and it'll play. Like I've done the arc reactor sound with it and I've done a new sonic screwdriver sound with it. Excuse me. So what I do is I use Audacity, clean up a downloaded wave file or whatever of the sonic screwdriver. I have to trim it down to just under a second of the actual sound file. And then I clean it up and loop it in the Arduino program. I change that WAV file to code using freeware called ENCODE, where seriously just choose whatever WAV file you want coded, select ENCODE, and it tells you that the file has been coded. And you literally just copy and paste it into the Arduino program. So right now I have the Matt Smith sound queued up, which is a nice loud one, and it comes across as, you know, the actual sonic screwdriver sound. The AT Tiny only plays sounds in 8-bit, so it's like an old-school Nintendo or Atari. So yes, I'm using the actual sonic screwdriver sound, <clears throat> it just doesn't sound like the actual sonic screwdriver sound coming out of this chip and this speaker. But anyway, here's the Matt Smith sound. It's very close, like the deeper setting on the toy. Very close. And let's queue up the tenant file, and I'll show you the difference here. Again, I don't know how well you can see this. And I apologize for trying to do all this one-handed. Uh, get over here, get over here. Tenant, 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 tenant. There he is. And let's load that one in. Takes like 10 seconds to come through here. Maybe 15 or 20 seconds. And done. Now let's try out the tenant sound. <clears throat> This one's actually sampled at a higher rate than the Matt Smith sound. So it's actually now a little louder than the original sound I was using as the tenant sound. Not as deep, but it sounds pretty close. And I was able to come up with a Pertwee sound using the sound file from uh, Sea Devils. So let's see how that turned out. Open up. Pertwee. Upload. And if you'll wait 15 to 20 seconds with me. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There it is. All right, to the sea devil sound. Sounds really close, but it's a little on the quiet side now. It's already sampled at the same rate as the tenant. If I go any higher, it'll play it at a faster speed and sound way too high pitchy and weird.
Now it'll be just a little bit louder once it's echoing inside the body of a sonic. Still, I think it's a cool sound choice. So there you go. That's how I program the sounds for the sonic screwdrivers.